everyone and welcome back to my Sky Factory tutorial series. I am Bacon Donut, the maker of the mod pack Sky Factory, and today I'm going to give you a very quick early game walkthrough. This is not in-depth late game stuff. It's not all about all the ins and outs of the mods. It's just how to quickly get through the very beginning if you don't know what the heck is going on because you're on a tree here in the void with nothing but a book and a torch. How on earth are you supposed to survive? How are you gonna get your, your basic materials? I'm gonna show you. If you'd rather figure it out on your own, then this is all gonna be spoiler, of course, but uh, I think watching this video won't ruin the fun because you still have to actually do it yourself. So here's what we do. Once you chop, start chopping this tree, if you get farther down, the leaves are gonna start decaying. It's vital that you get a sapling. You have to have at least one sapling or else you can't plant another tree and it's game over and you have to reset. The first log can get you a crafting table. The second log will have to be your crook. It's an item from the X Nihilo mod that gives you a higher percentage chance to get saplings off of leaves. It does some other things too, which uh, I will explain later. So second block here, boom, that gets us um, the wood that we need to make a crook. I'm gonna go ahead and just break one more block here. And uh, let's just quickly get this stuff turned into sticks and uh, into crooks. That's more crooks than I need. Don't make that many crooks. We've already got two saplings. Nice. And you don't fall into the void. It can be very perilous. The leaves are already decaying and this is dangerous. Ah, don't do that. Okay, that was a failure. Trying again. All right, I'm gonna put the crafting table here down. I'm gonna do this again and boom, there's enough for a crook and here. Wait, ah, oh, no, come back. I need that to crook with. Here, okay, crook. Quick before all the leaves decay. Please give me a sapling. Just one, that's all I need. Just just one, please. This, uh, this, Do you believe me now when I say that you have to be careful? Crafting table, boom, crook, there, there. Oh, we got a sapling, okay. We've already done better than last time. <laughs> All right, so right about here, the leaves are gonna start decaying and you're on limited time. So I'm gonna do my best to break these with the crook, collect all the drops, so we can have a better start to the game. All right, I got two saplings out of that. Sometimes you can get more, but you have to have at least one or it's a reset. So we can take this crafting table here. Now, you don't have to do this, but I like to turn this into a half slab like that. And uh, then we're gonna put that down next to this thing because we're on a single piece of dirt. Don't break the dirt, by the way. And uh, we need to start expanding this so that we can have something to stand on. So let's turn this wood into planks. Boom, and then these planks will give us room to walk around and start to expand the island. Let's plant the tree and put the torch down. The reason you put the torch down is because even when the sun goes down and it's nighttime, the, the tree can still grow. So I'm gonna go ahead and place the rest of these slabs down and give us some more room because we're gonna give this sapling a little encouragement. No, you don't have to sit here all day just playing solitaire waiting for the tree to grow. There is a mod that actually lets you twerk to get trees to grow. No, that's not a joke. Let's try it. Boom, boom, twerking it up. Get it done. Hit it. Come on. See, see the particles? That means it's working. I'm shaking my whole computer because I'm twerking so hard. Twerk harder! Twerk harder! There it is. Oh, a tree! So once you have twerked and grown trees and chopped trees down a few times, you will probably have some lumber, you'll have made some wooden tools, and so forth. You need to expand your island, get something more than just one single tree. So we're gonna make an item that's gonna help us with that. So take uh, some wood and 
just like this and a plank right there boom that makes an oak barrel plop plop now what are oak barrels for you may ask they're useful for a number of things but in the early game the important thing that you need to worry about is that they can help you get dirt if you take organic materials such as saplings and also apples and later rotten flesh uh you can put them in the barrel just right click boom a bunch of times and look at that it's filled with green stuff you just filled this up with saplings and you can see on the bar up there there's a progress it is composting and turning into dirt so we're gonna put some more of this over here too. So, you know, you just chop trees until you get more and more saplings and then you start composting them. And when it gets up to 100%, you get a new piece of dirt and you can repeat that process. And after that, you can start taking the planks, expand the island more, and suddenly you've got more trees. Bigger island, more trees. You can keep putting saplings in here to get more dirt. Just right click on the thing to pull the dirt out of there and you're good to go. So keep doing that until you can expand your island a bit and get some resources built up. So let's put some chests here to store our stuff. And we put some fences around so we're not gonna accidentally fall off. And we've got ourselves a little island here. Now the next thing you need to know about is how do you get string? Because string will get you a bed and beds are nice to have. There's a little guy right here called a silkworm. These, you will notice, dropping off of the leaves when you're using the crook and only when you're using the crook. You'll occasionally get a silkworm. If you take this guy and right click onto a leaf block, boom like that you can see the bar up there says infested leaves and a progress we have now taken that silkworm put him in the in the tree and he's going to silk the thing up and that is going to be how we're going to get string so let's just go ahead and infest a bunch of these now you need to be careful one thing that's very important to note when you're doing this is once they are infested they no longer drop saplings make sure that you never use up your last sapling you need to keep one of them around so you don't give it up i suggest putting a special chest somewhere with a sapling in it as your emergency sapling and then you don't touch that so if we skip ahead in time a little bit you can see that some of these have finished they say progress 100 percent. that means they're ready to harvest so take your crook hit the leaf and there is a high percentage chance of getting string off of these leaves. It's not 100%, but if you infest a few trees like this, then uh, you're going to get a lot of string by the time it's done. So just doing that, I've already got four. And 18 string is enough to get you a sieve. Now, what's a sieve, you might ask? I've never heard of that bacon. What is this madness? Well, let me tell you, it's pretty important in this mod pack. But I should mention first that once you infest this thing, those silkworms will actually spread to the other leaf blocks. So you might want to make a separate tree area for the infested ones or else you'll, it'll creep on over to your, to the other trees. Nasty little silkworms getting in everybody's business. Okay. So we've got a stack of string here. And of course we've got some slabs and some planks from all the other tree stuff that we've done. So let's craft one of these sieves. All right. You ready for this? Let's do it. Let's look it up. S-E-S-I-E-V, there we go, oak sieve, right there. Planks, sticks, and silk mesh, and a silk mesh is just nine strings. So let's make it, put this in here, Whoop. and you need two of these to make a sieve. Boom, so 18 string, there we go, plop, plop, and then planks, and then sticks, ah, oh, darn it, bacon, you didn't make sticks. Here, boom, sticks. Sticks for days. And that gets us a sieve. Nice. Okay, now what do you do with the sieve? We're gonna actually take materials that are coming out of this barrel and we're gonna put it in the sieve to get new stuff. So if you right click the dirt, boom, it put it in the sieve. If I either spam the click button or just hold right click, it filters through and I'm gonna I'm gonna sift all four pieces of this dirt and we're gonna see what sort of stuff drops out of here. Boom, look at this. We got 
grass seeds, we got some stone, and we got feces. Don't ask. And the important thing about these drops is not only do you, can you get seeds to do things like start an actual farm to make better food, but these stones, if you take these stones and craft them in a two by two, you get a piece of cobblestone. And that cobblestone leads you toward making an actual cobblestone generator and going farther up the, the tech tree. But that cobble gen is another tutorial, so we're not gonna go that far into it. But let's take a look at this achievement book and see what we've accomplished so far. We crafted a sieve, we uh, infested a tree with silkworm, the cobblestone generators here, that's gonna be the next video, and that just leaves collect the rainwater in an oak barrel. So, all we need is for it to be raining, cause we need rainwater. Oh look, it's raining, or snowing. That's biome dependent, either way, it works the same. Doesn't matter if it's rain or snow. Now if you look at these barrels, look, look, there's water in them. There's water in them. They're actually filling up. Here, let's get a better look here. Let's, th there we go. And you can watch, it's actually rising. The water level is coming up to the top. That's how you feel, get water in this game. And water becomes very important because you can't make a cobble generator without the water. And once that's full, then that completes, boom, collect rainwater in an oak barrel. And that's three Challenge is done in one video, and next time we're gonna teach you how to make a cobblestone generator. I hope that's a good early game walkthrough that should get you through the beginnings. Keep watching these videos to learn more about how to complete the challenges in Sky Factory, and come watch me live on my live stream. There's the link up there, twitch.tv slash bacon underscore donut. I stream Minecraft live five days a week over on that channel. Be sure to subscribe here and hit a like on this video if you like this tutorial, and I will see you guys in the next video. Bye!